and give thanks for the life of Uncle Cornelius Dawona. We thank you for the gift of life. And we thank you for being with him. We thank you for caring for him. And we thank you that you have called him to eternity. As we gather here this evening, we pray that your presence will be here with us. Father, continue to remind us of who we are before you. We pray that you will take us on a different level this evening, even as we remember Uncle Cornelius. We pray, O oh God, for whatever happens here this evening. We pray, Father, for our fellowshipping together, even for the food and the drinks and everything that we take here. We pray your blessings over them in the name of Jesus. Father, be with us. Care for us. Provide for us. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Clap, clap for our honorable pastor, minister, reverend, prophet. And clap for yourself. The claps are not coming. It's like I'm by myself here today. I want you to turn to your neighbor, the person sitting beside you, and I will explain later and say you're welcome. Thank you for coming. I want you to do some talk to somebody. Somebody new. Somebody new. Um, what, what I'm doing is very heavy. If you will just walk with me just a little bit, you will understand why I'm doing this. I met the late Uncle Francis at once. He was doing a naming ceremony. And I happened to do the opening prayer. And the way he contact, conducted the whole ceremony was nice. In my mind, I wanted to speak to him more. I could have gotten closer to him more. Today he's no more. But he was very close to me. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I say hallelujah, for the sake of it, say amen, amen. For, for my sake. Amen. Because it doesn't cost you anything. Some of us have sat on trains and buses and we've been to church and we, we don't know anybody. This is not me saying, or Sofu is saying, and the Bible is saying, once we hear, we'll go someday. Let's not take this for granted. Today we're here to support the family. We want to support them. So a few announcements before I keep going is that there is a table just at the entrance. And the reason why that table is there is that some of you purposed in your heart to support the family. Um, not with uh, cassava and, and, and rice and stuff, but with, with money, kadosh, money. Uh, you've purposed in your heart to do that. And we don't want that to be heavy on you. So we want you to just upload it there when you come in. Just walk there and then give it to the, the two beautiful ladies sitting there. And one I know by name as Kukua, a very um, quiet lady. Um, she will willingly accept the money and give you a receipt. So as, as we, we, we celebrate and as we drink and as we eating, um, keep offloading um, those weights that you have. Even Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Kukwa and her team are ready to give you rest. So don't take it home. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, don't take it home. The jingles are good, but the quiet ones uh, are, are even better. We accept everything, and I'm here to help you. You can send me to the cash point. I will, I will do that. It's not, it's not a problem. Um, I'm here with a wonderful team. You can see them. So far, they've watered you. They are asking you, what will you drink? Hot water, whatever. They are a brilliant team. Anything you need, you will be given by my instructions. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, you are with me. I have a wonderful DJ in the house. DJ, as I'm talking, please play me some background music. Let me feel that uh, I'm, I'm doing this with you. Osofu is called DJ Osofu. Osofu, who is a DJ. And um, the camera guy you're seeing is uh, Dufo. 
Um, so they are all here supporting what we do. So I will come back. As we think about the few things I've said so far, don't forget the money part. I will be there, I'll be watching. And then if you are not there, I'll come to you and then talk to you. Hello family. Say hello back to me. Hello family. It looks like because I talked about the money you are, uh, you know, kind of. But it's still me, you know, it's still me. I, I, I'm going to be around for a very long time. At least for a few hours you're going to be here. You, you're going to hear from me. I'm sorry. And, and I'm not sorry. Um, what it is is this. That this this is all we do. We're not going to have any other funeral. So let's 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 know that there's no funeral. Yeah, so you know how we do it. You know how we Ghanaians do it. You know how we support. That table means a lot to me. Um, and I would like to see you there. I have good news for you. You know, we, we're not here to waste your time at all. The food is ready. And, and we're going to plan how to negotiate for you to get to the table and then have something to eat uh, and then enjoy yourselves. But as you are doing that, those of you who are not going like you please, I'm seeing a few people at the table. I want to see a queue, really. And then after that, if I don't see um, the queue, I'll, I'll do it line by line so that I don't get confused. Um, oh, give me a smile, give me a smile. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not having that many smiles. Hallelujah. So if you are, if you are ready, uh, my ushers, those who will be directing, if I can have somebody by me, and uh, we can start um, eating the warm, warm food. Hallelujah. So if you, on my left, that is to your right, if you see these two beautiful ladies, they will direct you as to what, how to uh, go for your food. Thank you.
lahat close by. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It might be a pain in my heart, but half of me. Half of this. Half, yeah, half of that and half of Somebody's looking up the high table. Yeah. No, I did the same thing. It's half a half. Yeah. Okay, then give me four. Two, four, one. That's not, that's not the dark. Thank you.
Hallelujah. You can do better than that. Well, it's still good news. I, I, I'm just, I've just been informed that there is more food for, for those of you who went seconds. You can, you can do that because the kitchen staff don't want to take the food home. And um, if it's not finished, we are not going to allow you to go home. So please help us to finish. My table is still there. It's empty at the moment. And if I ask for money... I don't want you to be upset. So you can go with your card. Like I said, I don't mind going to the cash point to do that for you. The PIN number. Uh, but your card will have to stay with me for one week. And then I'll bring it back the following week. So enjoy, DJ. George Forrest. Forrest. Thank you so much. It's a quick one. Um, to, to this morning, we couldn't finish reading the tributes. There's so much to say about this man. So we're going to continue reading tributes. Um, and I'm going to call Hi, Madam Mildred Dodu. Um, if she's in the house, she, she can give me a wave. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay. Then after that, we will have Silas Dodu to also do that for the brothers and sisters in law. The in laws. The in laws. All the in laws. So, DJ, if you can give us a ba soft background music. Yes. Soft. Hallelujah. You know the in laws ready. I've just been informed. Uh, sorry, I've just also been told that um, some of you have 
been given receipts, but just to remind you, um, these receipts are not refundable. Uh, we'll not refund the receipts. Um, some of you also are saying that um, as you're eating, you, you, you are asking whether you can do some more donations. By all means, go to the table and do that. shows the same path to heaven. We never imagined that we would have to read a tribute about Uncle Fred, as we all affectionately called him. We all expected to see him in one way or the other, just as he usually arranges his meetings with each one of us. Unfortunately, on that fateful day, the clouds went dark for us. Little did we know, I will be back soon, was going to be the last words we would hear from him. Although as mortals, we loved and would like to have him with us, but the Lord's will had prevailed. Our encounter with Uncle Frank had been at different levels since 1964. For some of us, he had guided and mentored us greatly. He stands out when it comes to family unity. His role and efforts with his wife, our bereaved auntie, Auntie Jessie, to help unite the Dodo's family has always been obvious. No wonder his house was always full of family members each time he comes visiting Ghana. Our hope is to continue the family union even as you are gone. Uncle Frank would hardly retire to bed without having chats interspersed with pieces of advice and motivational words. How can we forget about Uncle Frank's unique generosity? Uncle Frank, we would definitely miss you. Your good works will surely open the gates of heaven for you. May such legacy of you uniting families continue to live with us. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Yahweh Jehovah. Amen. Oh, you, you can't do better than that. You know, standing in front here with everybody looking at you, the light rays, it, it's, it's not easy. So please, clap for us. Somebody like me, I'm very shy. So you clap to encourage me. Hallelujah. Now we now call upon the in-laws to do their tributes. You know, if you have lived your life well, people always want to say something about you. I've known this man just one day, and I have loads of things to say about him. We invite the in-laws to do the tribute. Father-in-law, Dad, from the first day I became part of his family, Dad welcomed me into his heart and home with open arms and a genuine smile. The rest, as they say, is history. A caring soul, a fountain of knowledge and wisdom, and a sense of humour that always had us laughing around the dinner table. Your love for all things sweet, much to Mum's gentle disapproval, would always make us smile. The quiet joy that it lit up your face when we walked in on Sundays with an apple crumble or cherry pie, your absolute favourites, was truly priceless. We'll treasure these moments dearly. Dad was a man of many layers. His quiet demeanour masked a wealth of knowledge and experience. But every now and then, we would hear snippets of his life experiences and accomplishments. Take, for instance, his knowledge of the Italian language, which he kept to himself. Yet every now and then, he'd surprise us with phrases in perfect pronunciation. 
And just a few months ago, whilst recounting his childhood in Ghana, growing up with Muslim friends, he told us about his word-for-word -word knowledge of the Fatiha, which he then recited, leaving me in total awe. All these moments were a reminder of Dad's colourful and rich life and a testament to a man whose love for humanity knew no borders or boundaries. Your legacy lives on in all of us, and I'm grateful for what you have instilled in Michael. He mirrors your strong values of family, hard work and kindness. His approach to life is a testament to the guidance he's received from you as his father, and I'm certain he made you immensely proud. I also want to express my appreciation for showing us the essence of a truly happy marriage. You and mum embodied the perfect example of love and devotion. You leave us with the happiest of memories and the moral compass to live life as you did with integrity, determination and a pure heart. Yeah, we, we continue with the son-in-law. If the son-in-law is here, uh, if you, somebody can find me the son-in-law, uh, uh, we are looking for the son-in-law. The, the wife has rescued the situation. Um, she will do it on his behalf. Oh, and you guys are clapping, isn't it? As we look for the program, you clap. No, no, no clapping from the house. Four people. Okay. Uh, this is on behalf of um, Frank's uh, son-in-law, Robert. A kind, caring, and deep man, Frank welcomed me into both his home and as part of his family with Annabelle. Frank would often share stories from his younger years or give his insights on one of many books I showed interest in uh, from his, uh, in the books from his fascinating front room library. Each time I visited Frank, um, he had always done some home improvement. He would often be happy to show off an inspiration to my own ongoing house improvements. Frank will be greatly missed by all in the family. His calm manner means he will always um, be there to turn to for reassurance and quietly listen while being able to give wise words after weighing his thoughts. Frank will always be in our hearts and kept in the stories we share. It's only the woman clapping, I can see. We continue with the tributes. I'm going to call on the Doonia family, Eddie Asante. Is Eddie Asante in the house? And then um, after that, Osu Ekome Femope. Ah. You, you guys don't know where I've been. <laughs> Silence. Uh, that will be Sister Rosalind. So prepare for that. Tribute, Osu Doonis. If we leave, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Romans 14, 8. Bra Okwe, your death came as a surprise and big blow to the family. You left the shore, shores of Ghana for further studies quite early in life. And even though we did not live together, you made it a point to visit as many relatives as possible whenever you were in the country. We were just beginning to enjoy more of your company as you lately visited more frequently from UK and actively participated in the affairs of the family. Today, the Dawona family has lost a great son and we pray that the good Lord will fill the vacuum created by this loss. The family will never forget your labor, sacrifice, and love for everyone. We are sad, but we thank the Lord for giving us such a wonderful son, brother, father, and a grandfather. As we stood by your lifeless body this morning, our minds continually flashed back in spasm 
to the old familiar moments we shared together as the owner of Wasi House, at the owner of Wasi House, Osu Ashanti, to and back from school, Ebenezer Secondary School, in the company of Sister Aquile, your cousin sister. You were a worthy example of your junior brothers and sisters and the whole family. You loved school. As a day student for five years, you walked each school day from Osu Sraha in Accra Central and continued in a bus or trotro to school at Mamprobi. While Akwili continued to Ayalulu, where Accra High School was located. Connie, we recall with pride gathering around to watch you on TV, representing your school in a national quiz competition. Our pride was and is still justified because very few people had such privilege of appearing on TV in those early days of television in Ghana. Ra Okwe Koni, our star is no more, but we feel extremely blessed to have you as part of our family. We shall cherish and be guided by memories of such good times together. As we part company, we take consolation in God's word, which says, then I heard a voice from heaven say, write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Revelation 14, verse 13. You have finished your assignment. Well done. May the Almighty God be with you till we meet again. Brow Kwe Koni. Rest in peace. Brow Kwe Yawo. Ujuban, and Yamikopa, Yawa Ujuban, Yenun Cholomi. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that, that was good. That was good. When I asked you guys to clap for me, I didn't feel it. Can you give me a clap? What can we say? We can say so much about this wonderful man. When a man has lived life in full, when he's done all that he has to do, they are grandchildren, children are doing well in life, a good husband to a good wife, what is there left to say or to do? Mom, I know it's not easy. But my own tribute to your husband is this. He's a good man. And unless you have encountered death, you will not know how frightening that thing called death is. I know why I'm saying this. Listen to me two minutes. This gentleman standing in front of you died during the COVID. I've got your attention. I died during the COVID. Yes, I died in 2020. All the things about COVID you had, the ventilator, blah, blah, blah. I've been through it. I had to learn how to talk. My memory went. I couldn't walk. So many things about me were out of place. But I'm here because God has given me another chance. If... Oh, you could do a better clap. This is a testimony. This is a testimony for free. Mom, I'm saying this to encourage you. I had an opportunity to meet types of angels. I had the opportunity to see the 24 elders. But I want to tell you something. If God calls you home with testimonials like this, then he has his reason. Yes, you have lost your husband. 
but you gave him to a better father. He looks up from wherever he is. Because where I was, that's what I'm saying, unless you've encountered death, you cannot talk like me. And you don't want to be in my position because it was frightening. I died, I could, where I was, I could see my body. I knew I had died, but I also knew I had failed. I won't tell you more. Now you are listening. So mom, I just want to encourage you. Dad is in a better place. Encourage yourself. If all these things these people are saying is true, your husband has done a good job. Because through all the lines of the tributes, the testimonies, one thing that we can all identify is humility, 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 hard work, humility. If he did this, he's in a better place. So encourage yourself. It's not easy. Encourage yourself. Amen. Yeah. DJ, give us something as I look for Auntie Rosie. <laughs> to give a tribute, want to do something, please come to me. I can make that happen. Um, and, and also, please, please, the table is empty. Um, there's nobody there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do it line by line. I'm going to come with the basket line by line so that I don't miss anybody. Auntie Russell. Let's keep clapping for Auntie Russell. The late 
the, the late Mr. Francis Dawona was a stout member of Osu Ekome Femoku, together with his wife, Mrs. Jesse Dawona. He was a secretary of OUK until his untimely, untimely death. Though, through hard work and tenacity, he worked tirelessly to enhance the stability of the association. He regularly attended our general meetings in Edmonton with his wife. Because of COVID-19, his patients, OEP now hold their monthly meetings virtually. But the Francis was the administrator. He carried out his duties pretty closely. At the last OEP meeting, held on the 19th of September, 2023. Francis advised that he would be traveling to Ghana by the end of that month. He even promised to set up the Zoom link for us from Ghana for our next meeting scheduled for the 14th of October. Not here. What can the matter be, Brother Francis? Little did we know that we will not be seeing you again. The news of your sudden death in Ghana has shocked us to our core. Indeed, your death brought us off a valuable member of all people. However, we have found consolation in the following lines. God is too kind to do anything cruel, too wise to make a mistake, and too deep to explain himself. We say, uh, we were with Francis. Now finish your work in this world, and you are now resting peacefully in the bosom of our gracious Lord. Brother Francis, a clap of freedom to God and man to So we continue with that with our program. We know you left home since morning. I, I can only imagine the preparation that it took you, um, the driving and all the sacrifices you got today. Um, God will bless you. Um, the program continues. I'm going to call the Edmonton Temple Methodist Church branch uh, to come forward with a song and then uh, whatever they have to present or say to Auntie Jesse and the family, um, the doors are now open. After which, um, we will have um, Auntie Jesse is connected to every girls. So the Abugis um, girls are in the house. They will also like to do something. Apparently, if you are married to <laughs> every girls lady, apparently you the gentleman, you are also a green boys. I saw, I saw happen to be uh, married to a Brie girl's lady. So you know the school that I'm attending now because that school never finishes. So I will call on um, Edmonton Methodist if they are ready. DJ, uh, you come dancing. If you if you don't dance, we will let you go back and start the whole thing. Hallelujah, DJ. Oh, 
Oh, they are coming, they are coming. The one up, the one up alone. We are watching you. They come. Uh -huh. If you have a reverend minister that dances better than you, you have a problem. I'm inspecting, I'm watching all this. I will, I will let you go back and start the whole thing. I'm here on behalf of Edmonton Methodist Church. Uncle Frank was a member as well as Auntie Jesse. Auntie Jesse and the family, the word of God says we should mourn with those who mourn and rejoice with those who rejoice. We are here to support the family and to comfort you. I know it's very difficult and sad time. 
But the word of God assures us that God is closer to the broken hearted. And he said, in terms of our difficulties, he would never forsake us. So God is with you and the family. He will never forsake you. He will turn your sorrows into dancing. But he does his things at the right and appropriate time. So we are bearing you up in prayer. And we know God will be with you and the family. So your brothers and sisters in the church will come to support you. May God bless each and every one of us. Thank you very much. Amen. Oh, clap, oh, clap. DJ, give us something. So this is a wonderful family. I would like to belong to a good family like that, a family that cares, a family that will support you physically, spiritually, emotionally like that. Uh, those of us who don't go to any church, this is a church right for you. This is the testimony. Um, people who will sacrifice their Friday to just come and support you. Not only during funeral times, but in happy times as well. So we, we thank God for the support that you've given the family. It is really marvelous and then wonderful. God bless all of you. Amen. You can go back to your seats. Thank you. Thank you, you, you. Music. 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 Music is coming. Uh, the DJ just had a drink and. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The music will meet you on the way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, keep, keep, keep clapping for yourself. It's been a wonderful time. We really appreciate you. We really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Edmonton Methodist. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, like I was saying, you you heard part of my story. The songwriter said, this is my story, this is my song. But I'm going to praise my, I'm going to praise my, my maker all the days of my life. When you sit and you think and you've eaten and you look at all the things you've achieved and gotten, do not think that a time is going to come, it's always going to be the same. There is time and season for everything. And for what I saw and for what I heard, it's good to be nice to people in summer. Hallelujah. I'm going to call on the school that I am attending now, every girls, um, to do their presentation. DJ, up the music. Oh, let's keep clapping for my school, every girl's a boogie. Yeah, this is Matthew's song. Matthew's are gone. Matthew's are gone. This is every girl's. Matthew's are finished. Oh, they are here. <laughs> Look at us, every girl. Every girl and every boy, we are here. I'm representing all the boys, all the men in the ring.
secondary school or every case for short and uh, there are so many of my big sisters here and <laughs> I try to avoid having to be the one who makes the speech but they said it's my job so I'm doing it um, thank you all for coming to help us to mourn our, with our big sister and to mourn our every boy so all the husbands of the every girls people, we call them every boys. And so uh, Uncle Frank has been a big brother to us and has always come and attended all our events and been a uh, happy part of our gatherings. And it is really sad that we have lost him so suddenly. May he so rest in peace. And that is our custom. When we come out to these things, we would normally put together a small donation. So we have the small donation which we will take to the table. But another part of our custom is that we sing our school song um, for our big sister. So we are going to sing our school song. And fortunately for us, we have our choir master here, Sister, <laughs> sister Nanaisi. So I'm going to pass the mic to her so that she'll lead us to sing our school is built on a hill. Thank you. Our school is built on a hill, we also hang a samoto. We are always victorious, cause we work in God's name. Oh, every girls, oh, every girls, oh, every mighty.
Tigana Rabuku, Premana Rabuku, Mene Mene Rabuku, Misu, Nikamu, Akamia, Akamia, The floor is open. You can come and dance with the family.
Praising God as we comforting and encouraging ourselves. It's getting darker. It's getting colder. We are not asking people to go anywhere. And we are not saying you should go. But we want to get some things out of the way. So those of us who want to do exercise, the whole of how many months you've not exercised, this is your time. And those of you who've been dancing in the bathroom in your houses, show us what you got. I'm going to call on um, a beautiful auntie, a beautiful sister, a beautiful friend to give us uh, a word of thanks and, and then we, we see what we can do, party from there. How about that? Clap for me if you agree with me. Clap for me if you don't agree with me. The table is still there. Hallelujah. Your wallets are telling me that you've not been there. And um, very soon I'll start my inspection. It's going to be line by line so that I don't get confused. So I will call on Auntie Leisure to give us the word of thanks. Keep clapping. Thank you. I want to thank you all for coming to share the day with us. On behalf of the family, we want to say thank you very much for your support and um, for your giving and just being here with us. We have to thank God that the day went okay. Few hedges, but uh, it went okay. We give uh, God uh, thanks and praise. And uh, what can I say? I just want to wish you all well. We're not going now, you can continue to dance, but when you finally decide to go, have a safe journey back home. The Lord bless you all in whatever you do. And still keep us in your thoughts and prayers, especially uh, Jesse, Anita, and family, Michael and family, and Annabelle and family. We're going to need all your prayers. So I want to thank you very much. And uh, we see, we give God thanks and praise for everything he's done for us. Thank you.
Hallelujah. So you want to hear a bit about my testimony. So finally I decided to come back to earth. DJ Asafu. Asafu DJ. So I have some encounters. So mind you from day one to whatever date that I was in the hospital. It was roughly a month plus. I was in coma. And then I was promoted from coma to death. I'm standing here and I see my body. <laughs> I'm standing here and I see tubes all over my body. But the death was not the issue. The challenge was that I didn't make it. Make it where? I didn't make it to heaven. You know, let people say that there is no God. But that second, the transition from life to death, they know, I tell you, they know. They know there is God. There is. There is God. Even when he was not talking, I knew he wasn't happy with me. And I was so sad. And you know some interesting thing? We have time. We have time to correct our mistakes. I was pleading at that time with the Holy Spirit. Call him God. Call him whatever. But I was pleading with somebody to give me three minutes to come and rectify my mistakes. Then I will go back. So I wasn't afraid of death. What I was afraid of was where I was going. Oh, the place is quiet. <laughs> so, whatever I went through, in fact, it's a journey. It will take the whole day like we started service all the way through for me to be able to capture what I want you to see and know. So finally, I had this, a hand bigger than me, big, big, a hand, a palm bigger than me, which followed me throughout, never spoke to me. And finally, when I had to come, he asked me, do you know what bring people like you here? People like us, oh. Most of you don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pastor. People like us, pastors. I'm good at telling people it is well with your soul. The Lord gives and the Lord takes. Do you know what brings people like you here? I was scared to answer him. Because all through these days that I was with him and he was following me and I was going, this voice, hey, let me not make a mistake and then maybe decide to promote me again. <laughs> Never said anything to me. Never asked me any question. All of a sudden, do you know what brings people like you here? So hear this, hear me and hear it well. I know you, you are not like me. He said anger. No, you people don't get angry, do you? Clap for yourself if you don't get angry. <laughs> hey, you too. <laughs> bitterness me I'm the only one who gets bitter I hope you don't get bitter unforgiveness anger, bitterness, unforgiveness and if you had finished it there I will work on these three but he says and the likes I'm leaving you with this because death by itself is not frightening. We will all go someday. And let me tell you, it's frightening for those of us outside because you see the person suffering and, you know, whining and pining. But the transition, that second, there is no pain. It was like I was on the other side. But after death, judgment. What a way to celebrate that. 
What a way to celebrate uncle. What a way to remind. So if you have any gift, make it to heaven and you will see him. Within that second, I saw my body. I see nurses going up and down. And you know what the nurses were doing? If there is any nurse in the house, they will tell you. When they are looking after a patient, and the patient is in that critical stage and is coming alive, it's an excitement for them. So they are calling people to come and see he's coming alive. But the moment I entered my body, I knew I had entered my body. And they were excited calling other people. What am I saying? I'm saying you, you don't get angry. You're not bitter. You always forgive. And the likes. You don't do any of this. You're already in heaven. I said people like me, and that was my worry. So it's not about the guys <laughs> that we talk about, because Bible says some of them have already been judged. So he's not coming to talk about them. He's coming to talk about us in the church. Our relationship with our fathers, our sons, our daughters, the friends we bring home. Do you have anybody that you've not forgiven? Before Christmas, so time does not wait. If you will go, go happy. Go making your family celebrate you with good testimonies like that. No exaggeration. You know, people talk and they say, somebody said, I read. I am telling you, I say, there is heaven, there is hell. There are angels, there are 24 elders. There is God whose anger you will feel without him saying a word. There is God who will talk to you in a split of a second. You will know where you've gone wrong in your life. You can't escape. As sure as death, it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my little preaching. And take the offering bowls, basket, and go around and collect it live and live. Don't miss anybody. It's Friday service. The tithe is for the church. The offering is for me. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So when you say it's time to dance, dance. You see me dancing. It's not because I'm a dancer. A time is coming. You can't dance. You will want to. The maximum you will do is to shake yourself in your seat. You have the time now. Dance. It's good to dance. It's good to smile. It's good to forgive. DJ, just give me something. I'm going to dance with these people, line by line. Everybody's dancing with me. <laughs> Let's dance, come dance with me. Hey, someone is coming.
we want to say a big thank you to you all. Um, as uh, my brother said, we are not going. Um, we are still here. Um, my big man, one of my uh, uh, colleagues, friend, my prophet, my brother is here. So he will come and offer us the closing prayer and then we can still, still stay in and dance. You know, we are not going here. So I will, I will invite Reverend Simpe. Reverend, come and give us the closing blessing. Reverend Simpe is here. He wasn't late. Um, he came and sat at the back. We thank God. Can we please just, if you can, just rise up, please conclude this. This is a day that God has really glorified his name. And as we have heard since morning, that in all things we give thanks. We thank God for people like you who are sympathizers and comfort uh, our mother and our sister and the family up to now. So we commit ourselves and the family also to God as we conclude here so that thereafter, if you are staying or when it's time for you to go, the Lord is with you. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? And so, precious Lord, we come to you this night with all the heaviness of heart for that which you have done. We give you praise in everything. And we thank you for our mom and sister, Auntie Jesse, and the rest of the family, even as you have called our dad home. Lord, thank you for every individual that spent time, energy, money, and resources of all kinds to be with the family even up to now. We soak ourselves into the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when it is time for us to depart from here, may your divine protection go with each one of us. Cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ. And let the power of God sustain each one of us to our homes. We pray that our mom, Jesse, and the family shall keep growing strong in your will. And we pray that everyone shall really be appreciated in all ways as you have brought us. Keep us safe healthy and strong. Let no evil befall anyone living here so that it will be said that, oh, I went to this funeral, I did this. In the name of Jesus, we counsel all. Amen. And we ask that we shall be sustained. May he carry us all on the wings of eagles and may the angels of God go ahead of us to our various places. May we be safe now and evermore. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Reverend Simpe. Reverend Simpe also is at a Mountain Methodist Church. Um, we want to say a big thank you to you, church. You've done so well. God bless you. Um, we are going to hand you over to the MC again. So we put our hands together for the MC. He's done so well. No, no, that, that was weak. That was weak. That was weak. Let, let's, let's put our hands together for him. Um, if you want to hear more of the testimony, speak to him. And he can come and speak to you. Alright? God has done so many things in his life. And he goes about testifying about the living God. The God who brings us back to life. And that is the God that we are worshipping. And to Jesse, God is with you. I know that you may not see each and every one of us maybe as you would have seen us or, you know, come to you as we would have wished, but God is with you. God is with you. Uncle Clement, God is with you as well. 
And so we will um, leave you here. And then we are going to dance. Everyone is going to dance as well. And um, I think the MC said it earlier on. There won't be any other rites. The funeral rites, the final funeral rite is tonight. So everything you are doing is like, you know, the end of it tonight. Sunday morning, there will be a Thanksgiving service. And that will be it. If you want to go to church and also give thanks to God on, their, on behalf of, you know, Uncle uh, Cornelius, that is fine. So that will be that will be it. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. As often said, God bless you. Didn't say amen. Osofu at the back there, Jumon, Screw, the kitchen staff, and Kukwa and her team collecting all our money and just giving us receipts. And they are also at the back. And everybody who made this thing happen, God will bless you. God will.